Boa Vista Circuit in Porto is a street circuit that since 2007 houses the round of the WTCC and this year, on the last weekend of June, hosted also the race cars of the Supercars International Series for the second round. Among them were also the car's protagonists at Aragon in late April with the two Audi Team Nova driver and the two Mercedes of BP Ultimate Team. We are, well, uh, not so well because uh, we had um, a small problem in Aragon, um, but this race is uh, a fantastic uh, circuit and we are enjoying very much, so we are keeping improving uh, the car and uh, we are getting, uh, we're getting close to the, to the front of the guys. Okay, we expect to fight for the, for the podium in, the, in this race, it's not an easy one, so it's an urban circuit is always for a big car like the Mercedes, it's not easy. But, um, and I'm, I'm doing two races because I'm on the, on the Caterhams and also on the GTs. What's uh, changing is a really big change. But anyway, so, so far so good. Uh, we are not yet uh, at the pace that we want to be, but we expect tomorrow for qualifying that will be better. Well, the free practice was very good. We, we were first. Uh, I think the event, we, it's an event that we have to be careful a bit with the track because the limits are the walls. So. We really have to adjust our rhythm to the, to the track between speed and, um, and the limits, no? Uh, the, only the brakes that uh, have some problems, perhaps with the temperature or because of the bumps, uh, we have some, some, some problems. And today we expect that problems are already resolved and we are in a hope to, to be a good, a good team and to to be expected to win, of course. On Friday, drivers had the chance to get acquainted with the track with free practice sessions, while on Saturday, the only qualifying session was held with the formula of three consecutive stints of 15 minutes each, one for each pilot. first stint, the hottest, the best time is set by Audi number 10, which is closer to the best lap times of practice, stopping the clock on his second lap just above two minutes and beaten by almost a second and a half, the sister car of Eskelinen Vieira Campanico, that had their best lap time at the end of the session. Almost two seconds behind, the best Mercedes SLS of Fontes Barbosa. No time instead for the Porsche 997 GT3R of Nogueira Salvador, with the latter immediately into the pits for a problem with a drive shaft. Surprising fourth time for the Megane driven by Jones Peter, first of the special division. 35 degrees centigrade and nearly 70 for the asphalt in the second session, where lap times decreased. This time the Audi number one is the fastest, with Vieira, which improves two times and going below the threshold of two minutes. Same fate for Barbosa, behind the rival by one tenth. The other Audi slips into provisional third place. The best time among the cars in trophy configuration remains that of Aston Martin of Morta Marcus. It's the third stint, however, that decides pole. There is another challenger for first position, in the shape of a Porsche driven by Salvador, that has solved the transmission problems. After the second lap, Campanico keeps lowering his best time until he scores just above 1 minute 58 seconds. Salvador stops at 1 minute 59.7, still in front of Mercedes of Coimbra Silva and the second Audi. Out from the challenge, Fontes Barbosa for a problem with a wheel hub, shipped overnight from France. When everything seems settled, there is the final twist, with Salvador snatching the pole position under the chequered flag by just 14 thousandths of a second. 
Yeah, it was not a perfect lap. It looks by the um, it looks by the the watch it was. But for me, it was not a perfect lap. Um, I didn't thought I had pull. I knew I got it better for four tenths. But um, by what I heard before, I thought the pole was on 57. So very happy, very, very happy. A very, very tough race. Um, our setup was not the best. Uh, we tried to, to improve the setup, but uh, I am conscious that for the race, uh, we might not have the, the best setup. So it will be a very tough race, but we'll be there for the fight, of course and try to do as much as possible. Um, all the teams are very good drivers, all of them very good teams and very good cars, so I'll have to be uh, pushing as hard as I can and then in the end we'll see the result. That's the best strategy I've, get, I've got, is um, push the maximum and then uh, we will see how it ends. Uh, I have managed to do two good laps, not so perfect as I expected, but uh, the, the pole uh, came on the last lap. Uh, I lost some time on the last sector, okay, not so good as the first lap, and then I stopped because the, the pole it was achieved, and for us it was great. It's, it's always good to race in our hometown, doing the pole, it, it, it's great too, but uh, we know that our team is not so balanced uh, as the others, but uh, we will try to get to the end, if possible, with the victory. Mm -hmm. So the first corner in Boa Vista is a very difficult corner because they have a, a braking in a 100 meters and you make in second very bumpy the corner. It's easier to have oversteering here. After that, have a long right flat, 210 kilometers per hour, and again a braking for second gear, preparing the long straight of Boa Vista. Now goes to the chicane. You break in 100 meters, goes again to second. You cut a lot of the curves. It's difficult for the cars and the, for the drivers. Now you go to fifth gear and break a, again early of 100 meters. Uh, again, cut the curves. Now you go to second gear to entry in city park have a right flat right with a bump very difficult because the car touching the ground a left difficult because it's blind now you go to second again the slow part of the circuit you go first gear again very difficult to put traction in the car because a lot of power now we go to third second again very bumpy this braking part very difficult to maintain the line now you go to second and third and you go to first. First and you prepare to the downhill, the fastest part in the circuit, where uh, you go to third, fourth, you have this right, flat right, you, you put fifth gear, 230 kilometers per hour, very fast is done and uh, uh, very difficult braking because you, the speed is too high. You go to the first gear again and you start the new lap. Same hot and sunny weather for the race, that kicked off Sunday at 2pm. As expected, it is the Porsche with Salvador to set the pace, followed closely by the Audi of Campanico, by the Mercedes of Fontes and the other Audi.
immediately an electronic problem for the Seat Leon of Santos made them enter the pits with no power. A drive shaft instead lingers Porsche author of best response among the trophy cars. The fastest of the pursuers in the middle group is Marta with Aston Martin that leads the head of the chasing group behind the 5 GT3 cars that set the pace. However, an error in the vicinity of 45 minutes after the first mandatory stop puts an end to their race. The car slams against the barriers in the most technical part of the track. The safety car is sent in, but Fontes hits debris that ruins the tyre and forces him to an extra stop, losing valuable ground. It's okay, I was second before I stopped, uh, but now with this safety car and uh, with the refilling will be, I think we're gonna see only the result in the end, so it's gonna be nice to see. It's going quite well, uh, I've done the first, the first, uh, the first turn and uh, when I saw the, the car crashed in the middle of the, 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 the track I, uh, and uh, it already has opened the, the window to change pilot so I came inside faster to have uh, uh, advantage for the, from the other guys and I think it, it was a good strategy. Thank you.
safety car is on the track for a total of 55 minutes. Refueling has to be undertaken in Parc Ferme for security issues. Eskelinen, however, does not follow the safety car, gets distracted and goes for another lap. This, of course, will be deleted from the total and the car subsequently penalized by 30 seconds. At the restart, also because of the different pace of Nogueira, Eskelinen takes the lead and hands it over to teammate Vieira, who administers the advantage on Salvador. With the first two positions stabilized, the challenge is for third place. That goes to the Mercedes crew for a few seconds on the second Audi team Nova driver. Trouble for the Mercedes of Silva Coimbra, forced to make multiple stops in the pit lane for a defective door.
Among the trophy cars, supremacy of Marreiros Baptista, Porsche 911, the most constant during the 120 minutes of the match. However, with rivals Oasis Motorsport, Ferrari 430, penalized for failing to meet the minimum total of 5 minutes for two stops. Class supremacy for the fast Megan V6 of Jones Peter and GT4 victory for Ferreira Silva Pereira on Porsche 911. It was okay, it was uh, tough, tough because it was very hot today. The, the weather was like 35 degrees inside the Kai 60, and uh, it was really difficult. I did the last thing. The brakes weren't working, everything uh, was like uh, very hot, but uh, I could do the best lap, one second and uh, one away from the second and uh, it was really nice this race, we won and we, we, we deserved to win, we were the all the weekend the fastest team and yesterday in the chrono we had bad luck because of, we, because of some um, s uh, slow drivers that uh, were uh, that, uh, just we couldn't do the lap because of them and uh, today we proved that we are the best team here and uh, it's okay, we are happy with it. Uh, my race, race was today uh, quite quite uh, okay. Uh, race, uh, all race we have a lot of uh, safety cars and so on and uh, it, it, it takes it, that makes the race a bit uh, difficult to, for the, for the uh, tactic. Uh, our tactic was quite okay, we, we come just right moment to the driver change to the first one when I, when I, when I jumped the car and, uh, and uh, then I, I did uh, some very good laps and come, come again to the uh, driver change and Carlos uh, finalized the race. He was very fast and uh, I'm very happy for Team Nova Driver and Cesar and Carlos that, that they could win today. Well, the race was very hard because it was very hot. Uh, we had a lot of strategy in this race because many safety cars. And um, I think we, in the end we won the race with big advantage because we played very well in the strategy, in the boxes, uh, a bit with the driver change windows. So in the, in the end uh, it was an easy race in that aspect because we were the fastest car in the, in the race as well, so couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, uh, a great result, a great race. The first part was um, tough. Uh, we made a good start and I was able to um, keep a little bit of an advantage until we get the safety car. Um, then the safety car uh, came in, lost again the advantage, get it back again when we went back to the race. Then the first stop, Mr. Nagata went in and did um, perfectly his job. And uh, we got, I got back on the car for the last part of the race, but very, very difficult, very hot, very hot inside the car, a very long shift, too long, and uh, in the end everything was overheated, no tires at all, I tried to manage as good as I could, but uh, definitely the last 15 minutes of the race, I couldn't, couldn't drive the car any faster than that, no, no rear tires at all.